All right, folks, welcome back. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we're going to be talking about defensive coordinator candidates for the Rams. I know a lot of people have been asking, uh, hey, where's the candidate video that you said you were going to make? Well, I'm making it, and there's a different spin on it because you know what? I had pizza today, and if you know how much I love pizza and you know how much I like watching Dave Portnoy's pizza reviews, then you'll get a little bit of a kick out of what I'm going to do because I didn't know how to rank these, and I'm still bad at ranking um, but I'm going to rank all the coaches with a Dave Portnoy's pizza review one bite, uh, essentially score. Uh, so zero out of 10. And I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to go like one out of 10, whatever. I'm going to keep it real. Uh, but I'm going to rank them. We're going to go from the bottom to the top. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. So before we get into it, be sure to like, subscribe and comment. You can follow me on social media and you can check out my unfiltered podcast to get a little bit more information about me and other things i want to talk about that aren't rams in the comment section or sorry description below so let's dive into it uh the first one i think you guys know where i'm going with this he's interviewing with the rams it came out it is uh i almost said rex ryan no uh it's ron rivera age 62 uh former commander's head coach I can't have him get hired, man. I've said too much about him. That's uh, not very nice. Not like unprofessional, but I just haven't been high on him as a head coach. I, I still don't know why he gets opportunities and Jeff Fisher doesn't. And I'm not a Fisher homer by any stretch, but I don't really get this. It's been kind of a mixed bag when it comes to his defenses. Um, plenty of downs, some ups, but he'd be my last choice. So I'm going to give him a, we'll give him a 6.3, a 6.3 out of 10. Ron Rivera. Okay, moving on to the next one. Joe Barry. Okay. Former Rams uh, assistant head coach, linebacker coach, was also last year or this past year, the Packers defensive coordinator. I could see him returning back to the Rams in some sort of role, but I really hope it's not going to be a defensive coordinator. I just don't think he's a very good defensive coordinator. But I've heard really good things, and he's a likable guy and he's a good coach. So uh, if they bring him back on the coaching staff, definitely not against it. Just would like him to not be the defensive coordinator or place Raheem Morris. That's all. Uh, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. So 6.5 out of 10. Next up, we have another former Ram, a little bit in a different light. He only played one season for the Rams, the St. Louis Rams. And I believe 2011, uh, former cornerback of the St. Louis Rams, Al Harris. He's 49 years old. He's the Cowboys defensive back coach. Uh, he has Dan Quinn influence. And in his career with the St. Louis Rams, like I mentioned, he's been a defensive back coach for a while. My concern here is he's already 49. I think that like, it's not that he's a bad option, but I think there's just so many guys out there that would be better options. And there's a guy on that uh, coaching staff that would be a better option, but I do like Al Harris um, would be interesting if they did interview him. I don't know if they're going to. Uh, Joe Barry sounds like there could be some mutual interest there. Ron Rivera, they already interviewed, but Al Harris, they have not. So we'll see. I'm going to give him a 7.1 out of 10. Let's move on here a uh, little bit. Now we're, we're diving in and I'm not going in any sort of order other than my score order, right? So this, this is how I would rank them uh, from, from lowest to, to greatest. Uh, so I'm a little nice. I mean, given a 7.1 to a guy that's never been a, coordinator before at age 49 i mean hey you know you gotta be nice here but uh leslie frazier a little bit of a long shot here actually a big long shot i don't see him going to the rams i'll just be honest he took a year off from coaching i thought he did a great job with the bills uh sean mcdermott just decided they had a different you know a change in philosophies he wanted to go in a different direction use more three safety looks frazier was more stuck in the tampa two ways uh, again, not a bad defense coordinator at all. Did a really nice job with the Bills, but it was just a different, uh, you know, a changing of the guard, if you will. So McDermott wanted to go in a different uh, direction. Frazier, uh, of course, left the team and took a year off from coaching. I don't see him being a fit here for the Rams. Um, like I said, very good defensive coordinator. I don't think the scheme that he wants to run would make any sort of sense uh, for Sean McVay. Uh, so I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 Leslie Frazier to the Rams. And mind you, I'm not ranking these guys as defensive coordinators because Frazier would be way up there. I'm ranking it based on how these guys fit with the LA Rams and the situation they're currently in. So I just don't see really the fit 7.5 out of 10s. Like you put him in there. It's not a great fit, but like he's good enough to make it somewhat work. 
I want to see a defense really take another level of a step. You know, I want to see that Brandon Staley number one defense that we saw in 2020 um, because I think the Rams are going to go out and help their defense out in a big way in the offseason with the draft, with the free agency. So we'll see what ends up happening. But at 7.5, I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, I'm just saying. If you're a team that doesn't really care, you're kind of just, you know, you're tanking for whoever comes out next year, uh, then I guess 7.5 is fine for you. But also, Leslie Frazier is a better defensive coordinator the way I ranked him. He just doesn't really make sense for the Rams. We move on here. A uh, little bit of a dark horse candidate. I just wanted to throw his name out there. Uh, he goes by the name of Robert Livingston. He is the Bengals secondary coach. The Bengals secondary got pretty torched at the end of the season, to be fair. Um, but the thing about him that I like is the Lou Anarumo influence. Uh, full disclosure here, because we keep it real on this channel. Uh, I did all my research, but could not find out what the hell age Robert Livingston was. So if you're related to Robert Livingston or you know him or whatever, uh, please drop his age in the comment section below because I'm curious. I have no idea. He looks young. He looks younger. I probably, you know, wager he's like 38. But um, but yeah, I like the Lou Anarumo influence. I give it a 7.5. Um, again, I, I like him, but, uh, you know, he's a little down on this list. Interesting name to look out for for the future. Another one to look out for for the future who's lower on this list, but you gave him another year or two and he could be at the top, Michael Wilhoy. And if you remember that name, it's probably because he was in the NFL not that long ago uh, playing for the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. He's a former 49er linebacker, currently with the Broncos as the outside linebackers coach at age 37. He jumped right into coaching, working as a special teams assistant with the Saints in 2019. Then he became a defensive assistant for the Saints in 2020, was hired by, uh, of course, Brandon Staley's crew uh, with the Chargers in 2021. And then 2023, he reunited with Sean Payton, um, you know, in Denver. So might be a little too soon. But Hoyt is going to be a defensive coordinator, or Will Hoyt, excuse me, is going to be uh, a defensive coordinator sooner than later. So I like 7.7 7 out of 10 here. Um, I don't love Will Hoyt at this point in the game. I do think the Rams might want a little bit more experience, but I might contradict that as the list goes on just because there's some interesting ones. Will Hoyt is a fun one, though. I like when you see just players that as soon as they leave the league, they're really interested in becoming coaches um, and they, they don't waste any time just diving right in. Let's be an assistant here. Let's try to be a linebacker coach here. I like that, um, you know, that ownership. And so he's a name to look out for. Michael Wilhoyt, the Broncos outside linebacker, uh, outside linebacker coach, 37 years old. We move on to a big name that might surprise you. I'm not as high on even if and, and he's somewhat of a long shot here, but I'm not as high on and I want to make this very clear. Mike Vrabel, age 48, former Titans head coach. Um, there's a good chance Mike Vrabel's going to sit out 2024 uh, the whole season if he is not hired to be another head coach. I don't think he's going to. It doesn't sound like Seattle's going to go with him or Washington. So to me, I'm going to say this. He should have been let go in the, the first place. I think he's a great head coach. With that being said, I think his defensive resume just isn't that great. Um, he actually had the number one scoring defense, and not in a good way. I mean, they gave up the most points uh, his last year as a defensive coordinator before he was hired by the Titans. He was hired because he won in the, you know, the interview, and he is a leader of men. You want to run through a brick wall for Mike Vrabel. But at the same time, is he a great defensive coordinator? The stats show that he's kind of not. Um, and my thing is, I just I think the leadership and the game management is the, the important thing here. Some guys are just better head coaches than coordinators. Some guys are only coordinators and not head coaches. They're completely different. And in my opinion, I think this is just one of those examples where Vrabel did enough to work his way up to being a defensive coordinator. But in reality, he was always meant to be a head coach. So love Vrabel. I don't think he should have been fired. I think that was stupid on the Titans part. At the same time, I don't think the Rams should hire him as the defensive coordinator. Would he do okay probably with this defense? Yeah, but I don't love the history. He hasn't ever had like an elite defense like some of these other guys. And really what it comes down to is are any of, the, are any of these coaches really bad hires? I mean, I would... 
I'm going to say it. I know it's probably rude. If the Rams end up hiring him, I'm going to regret it. But um, yeah, I don't think Ron Rivera is a good hire. I don't think Joe Barry would be a good hire. And I don't think Al Harris or Leslie Frazier would be a good hire. Okay. Uh, Frazier would be fine, but I, I don't think any of those guys would be a good hire. Um, when it comes to Mike Vrabel, I, I don't think he'd be a good hire either. But at the same time, I think he'd just make it work. Um, I just don't think he's as good as some of the other options I'm going to get into. So that those are my thoughts on him. Wink Martindale, age 60. By the way, I gave Mike Vrabel a 7-7, just like Michael Wilhoyt. Uh, Wink Martindale, age 60, former Giants defense coordinator, also Ravens defense coordinator, had some head coaching opportunities that he was interviewing for over the last few years. I don't see it. Uh, the nature of how aggressive that, you know, Don Wink Martindale wants to run his defense, I just don't think it fits. I, <clears throat> you know, we, we saw it. Sean McVay butt heads with coach bones and that was the end of fossil in la we, and by the way that was stupid they should have just kept him because no they should have just kept him anyway the point i'm making here wink martindale a lot of respect from sean McVay. you saw the pressers he's got a lot of respect for for wink martindale here's the deal okay wink martindale would be like having a more competent greg williams but at the same time still having like a greg williams really aggressive high octane blitzing attack i mean this is not the defense that would match up well with what mcveigh wants to do on offense so because of that i don't love that fit i have him at a 7.8 wink martindale is one of the best defensive coordinators in the game but his aggression is not a fit in la for what they're trying to do on the offensive side of the ball so i gotta give it a 7.8 he's ahead of vrabel and will hoyt and some of the other guys but i can't put him any higher than that Okay, moving on. Uh, first in-house candidate here for the Rams. We got Chris Shula, age 37, linebackers coach and pass rush coordinator. He's interviewing with the Rams. I'm going to give a 7.8. I like that he's been around for the majority of the time with McVay uh, in LA. I really do like him, and I hear really good things about him. I think there are better options. I give him a 7.8 here. And again, if they end up hiring him, I don't think it'd be an awful move. Um, but I think there are better options that we'll get into. Joe Witt Jr. at age 45. I give it a 7-8. Currently, he's the Cowboys secondary coach. Expected to potentially walk away if Dan Campbell, or Dan Quinn, excuse me, also walks away. He could join Quinn's staff as the defensive coordinator. Um, he could also become the defensive coordinator if Quinn leaves. So I like Witt, uh, but at the same time, I think there are better options. I give it a 7-8. Next up is Brandon Staley, age 41, former Chargers head coach, also former Rams defensive coordinator and Broncos outside linebacker coach. Uh, Staley is one of those guys. Mutual interest is there. A lot of fans want to bring him back. I've been on record saying I don't want to bring him back, and it's not because of Staley necessarily. It's because of who is available this time around. I think the Rams really have their pick of the litter here. A lot of great coordinator options, and Staley wasn't great with the Chargers. Those defenses were not great at all. He had one great season when he had a great team and probably the best rendition of the Rams defense, so that's my issue. I'm going to give it a 7-9, though, just under an 8. Uh, personally, I would not hire Staley this time around, but I think he's a solid option for a team like, say, the Packers. I would probably bring in Brandon Staley and make him my defensive coordinator. But for the Rams, I think they need to aim higher. All right. Now we're into the eights. These are the ones where your age might be able to get you through. You know, all of these guys, I mean, the eights, like when you're eight out of 10, like that's really good. Like, what is it that, uh, Dave Portnoy says an eight, you have to, you drive three hours to go and try the pizza. And if you're a nine, you, you get on a plane and you fly out to try the pizza. Well, this is where you're driving three hours uh, to go and get that pizza. And these coaches are really, really good. I think, um, not to say the other coaches aren't, but I think for fit wise with the Rams, I think a lot of these coaches make sense. We'll start off with Bobby Babich. Uh, the 40 year old Bills linebacker coach interviewing with the Giants currently Leslie Frazier and Sean McDermott influence I really like him I like that first off I understand he's not as young as some of the other guys I'll mention but at the same time 
He's continued to work his way up the rungs. The Bills linebackers have been really good. And then, of course, he worked with their defensive backs and the defensive backs were great when he worked with them. So I think just the, you know, his essentially like his resume speaks for itself. I think he's ready to become a coordinator. And so I have him at, as an eight out of 10. Moving on, I have uh, some other eight out of 10s here. We'll, we'll list them off here. Marquand, uh, Marquand Manuel. Uh, who was actually a defensive coordinator at one point in his career with the Falcons. He's currently the Jets safety coach and has been since uh, they hired uh, Robert Sala. So the thing I like about him is that Manuel has been with Sala. He's been with Dan Quinn and he's been with Jim Schwartz back when he was with the Eagles and, you know, they uh, were in the Super Bowl. I think just the, the interest that he's garnering towards, um, you know, it, it just interviewing with the Jags and everything. I think he could get back out there. I give it an eight out of 10. He's not my favorite option, but I do think he's a really solid option. Um, there are other guys ahead of him, but I like the eight out of 10 there. Wouldn't be a bad hire. Uh, Chris Hewitt, 49 years old, a little bit older than uh, Manuel and some other guys, but you know, he's currently the Ravens secondary coach and, and defensive passing game coordinator. What I love is that he has the experience. He's been with the Ravens his whole coaching career, just about uh, Dean Pease, really, really good defensive coordinator back in the day, uh, was with him for a while. Then he was with Wink Martindale. Now he's with Mike McDonald. I think the influence speaks for itself. I think all three of those guys are great defensive coordinators in their own right. Um, he's getting defensive interview, you know, defense coordinator interviews now. I like him at, at an eight out of 10. I wouldn't be against moving him up to 8.1, but I kind of feel like all three of those guys are kind of on the same playing field with maybe like Hewitt edging him out a little bit. But keep an eye on Hewitt. I really like the idea of grabbing the Mike McDonald influence. I really think it speaks for itself. Uh, Derek Ansley, this is an interesting one, 42 years old, former Chargers defensive coordinator. So he was with Brandon Staley. What I want to point to is this. Harbaugh did not retain him. He went with uh, Jesse Minter, uh, who you know comes over from the Michigan Wolverines. But I think the thing with Ansley that I really like is that you notice that you don't get a big sample size because Brandon Staley wasn't fired until later on in the year. And Staley called the majority of the defense. But when they did get rid of Staley, immediately after Derek Ansley was the uh, the primary play caller at the defensive coordinator position. And I thought he did a, a much better job. I thought the defense looked better. Maybe they went more back to the basics. I think, again, Staley has more of a convoluted, you know, complicated scheme where if you have a, like a younger defense, it might give you problems. Even some veterans, it might give you problems. So I think with Ansley, I think they went back to the basics and you saw some immediate results. Um, 42 years old, guy to keep an eye on. I like him. 8.2 out of 10. Has some experience working with Tennessee as the defensive coordinator, going back to his days with Alabama. So I do like Ansley. He's somebody to look out for. This next one has probably the best story. Um, I'm going to give it an, an 8.3 out of 10. It's Aiden Dirt or Dirty. I don't know how to say his name personally, but he's 44 years old. He's the Cowboys defensive line coach. Currently, he actually is set to interview with the Rams if he hasn't already. Um, he's a Dan Quinn guy, but his story is awesome. He was originally um, the head of football uh, development over with NFL UK. Uh, basically, what they do is they help guide the uh, international player pathway program. So as you guys have seen in the past, like Maximilian Percher when he was with the Rams, I'm sure there's another guy I'm missing, but Percher when he was with the Rams was part of of the Rams through the international player pathway program. And that is the type of stuff that, you know, Aiden Durd has been kind of working with. Uh, so obviously you fast forward, he leaves that job and he goes right into uh, being on Dan Quinn's staff with Atlanta, then follows him to Dallas. He had six years of defensive coordinator work uh, in the London football league, the American the London American Football League or Football Club. I don't even know what to call it, uh, but for the London Warriors, he was a defensive coordinator for six years. Uh, love the story. Love that, you know, he's London born. He's really worked his tail off to get these opportunities and be here and work his way up the rungs. 8.3 out of 10. And at times I thought about moving him up even more because I, I like his story a lot. I was watching some of the, his interviews. I think this is somebody, if the Rams were to go with him, 
don't be surprised. Could be kind of an out of the blue type of hire for some, but I definitely see the interest there, the reasoning for wanting to bring a guy like that into your organization. Moving on, and again, Aiden Dirt, 8.3. We got an 8.4 here. James Betcher, 45 years old, currently the Bengals linebacker coach. I understand some people kind of look at, you know, his stop with the Giants as the defensive coordinator, and they get a little pushed away. But, you know, he worked with Lou Anarumo. He worked with D'Amico Ryans. He had a top defense his first two years as the defense coordinator in Arizona. I like him. I've always liked him, and he's still somewhat young. I'm going to give him an 8.4 out of 10. James Betcher is a name to look out for, especially with that Lou Anarumo influence. I'd love to get something like Mike McDonald, Lou Anarumo, one of those guys, because those guys, they really make it hard to work as an offense. We saw what the Rams offense did versus Lou Anarumo in week three of the football season. Obviously the Rams had their way with the Ravens defense, but you saw what the Ravens defense did the whole season aside from the Rams game. I think bringing that in a more modern defensive philosophy and outside influence could really help push this defense to new heights. And that is what it's all about for me in this journey, because otherwise you would just do an in, you know, an in-house promotion. This is why I think the, the Rams and mainly Sean McVay are going to take a while to decide who they truly want and who will truly, you know, get the most out of it. Uh, so that is, that's that on, on Betcher. Moving on now, we're in the 8.5s here. Uh, this is where it gets really good. These are my absolute favorites. I think Aiden had a shot to be here, to be honest with you, and James Betcher. Um, but here are my absolute favorites. We're going to start off here with the youngest candidate on the list by a country mile, 31 year old Zach Orr, who is the linebackers coach for the Ravens or is a former NFL linebacker. He worked his way up the rungs immediately following retirement. Uh, this guy went and just became a defensive analyst. Then he immediately became an inside linebackers coach. Um, but before turning 32, I think when you look at him, first off, he appeared on the 40 under 40 list. So that's also really cool. Um, he might be a little too young for some, but to me, getting that McDonald outside influence makes him a really unique option. And the cool thing is you can look at it in both ways. So if the Rams know, if you're in, think about this smartly, right? If the Rams know that they're going to get plucked every year and they're going to lose their defense coordinator to a head coaching job and likely means they're going to get a draft pick. If that's a minority coach, are you going to hire Zach or for that reason? Because if Zach or is too young, maybe he doesn't get that opportunity. So I think if you hire a guy like Zach or here, I don't know if necessarily he dives right into becoming a head coach next season. So that does create a little bit of intrigue there because you could bring in this 32 year old. He's going to be 32. He's 31 right now. You bring in this 32 year old coach. And now all of a sudden you're like, Oh, okay. Well now you have him two, three years, maybe even before he leaves. However, on the flip side of that, you could bring in, you know, somebody else on the staff. I'll mention a little bit later. Who's a little bit older, who's close to becoming a head coach and more likely to get plucked off your defensive coordinator, you know, spot. And then at that point you could bring in order or place. So that's something to keep in mind. You might also run into trouble next year where, or could get, you know, you don't know, or could get promoted. He might not be there next year. So interesting stuff there but just keep in mind if Orr's considered too young for the league right now and maybe he's a little too early to be a defensive coordinator he could grow into this role and he you might have some stability there for the next two to three years so something to keep in mind um I don't know just an interesting thing there 8.5 out of 10 for Zach Orr another 8.5 out of 10 is Anthony uh, Campanile uh, I don't know if I said his name right, but the, he's the Dolphins linebacker coach. This guy is considered a fiery coach. Uh, he was retained after the Dolphins moved on from Brian Flores and he even had a year with Fangio this year. I just, I like the influences. I like how just he is, he's a very in your face coach. Um, some people don't like that. I do. I think it's, it shows a lot of passion. Um, and obviously a lot of people were talking about him cause he was on hard knocks. Uh, he's getting interviews already especially with the Giants. Sounds like they can make a move for him. We'll see. But he could be one to watch. Anthony Campanile, I think his his name is going to start getting bigger and bigger. Uh, age 41. I feel like this is the year he's ready to be a D coordinator. If he's not this year, then he'll be beyond ready next year. Uh, 8.5 there. 
So now we go above 8.5. We're going in the 8.6 range. 37-year-old Shane Bowen, the Titans defensive coordinator, very young, consistent. He's already been in D.C. under Vrabel since 2021. So, look, I don't think he's the best option, but I definitely like him a lot. And I think, you know, a guy that's that young too, like I think he'd do a lot of, of great things with Sean McVay. Um, again, I like that Vrabel, you know, was around him. So, you know, this, there's the potential of developing him into, into a coach. Does that help the Rams compensatory wise? No, because he's not a minority candidate. However, just think about it. Sean McVay would like to grow his coaching tree, right? Yeah. Well, I think Shane Bowen would definitely help him do that. If he ended up having a solid year, uh, with the Rams as a defensive coordinator, the problem is you could lose Shane Bowen in one year's time. So you also have to think about that, but I think he'd, he'd do well, uh, with the Rams. Next up, we go from 8.6 up to 8.8. I'm going to go with inside, in-house, 37-year-old Aubrey Pleasant, uh, DB coach and uh, passing game coordinator. He, he's interviewing for the job. To me, I'll tell you what I've heard about him. I heard defensive Sean McVay. He's been on the 40 under 40 list every year just about, it seems like. He was at this coaches expo where McVeigh completely kept raving about him. A lot of people are really high on this guy. He's been around different type of guys as well. Now, of course, he was, you know, around Brahim. He's been around Sean McVeigh. But as far as being a defensive coordinator, this is where it gets interesting. Kind of like Chris Shula, if you go in house, you are running kind of the same defense as, you know, the one you did with Raheem Morris slash Brandon Staley. So that is something to keep in mind. You're still keeping that same type of thing. You're not bringing in any sort of outside influence. You're not giving your chance, you know, yourself a chance to really uh, develop a defense further. But that's when you feel really good about the defense that you've figured out. If this is really what you want to do and stick to it, by all means, I'm a big Aubrey Pleasant fan. If they were going to go with anybody, um, you know, in-house, he'd be my option. <clears throat> He's one of my top options for sure. Um, I think 8.8 is a great score. And I think if he doesn't end up as a Rams defense coordinator this year, he'll get his chance uh, sometime soon. But he is still young, still under 40. Keep that in mind. Uh, would be an option and I'll be honest with you one year of him at defensive coordinator considering how the Rams have a spotlight they'd be getting third round picks because I think he'd be a head coach the fiery uh, type of guy very well liked uh, very well liked but you know he has some fire to him he is a guy he can be a leader I, I I like Aubrey Pleasant a lot I was a little shocked to see Jimmy Lake get the D coordinator job in Atlanta and not Aubrey. It makes me wonder if Aubrey has more of a shot at this Rams defense coordinator job than people are letting on. And if the Rams go in house, it, it's a hundred percent Aubrey pleasant. Um, but yeah, that that's what I have. 8.8. 8. All right. Next up, my last eight of the list here, 8.9. It's a long shot of all long shots. It's Bill Belichick, age 71, former Patriots head coach. I think he's got a laundry list of success. I know he has a laundry list of success, especially on the defensive side. Um, I don't see him being a defense coordinator. Let me make that very clear. I'm listing him because I wanted to list the long shots, Frazier, Belichick. Um, you know, I wanted to list those guys, Vrabel. But at the same time, I need to be very honest with you guys. I don't think he's an option. Um, he either retires or he's a head coach, in my opinion. That's how I see it. He'll either wait until next year or he'll just announce his retirement. Um, but I just can't see him allowing himself to not be the head honcho. I do think he would be great. Like, I'll say this right now. Him working with Sean McVay would be spectacular. Um, I really think it would work out better than people realize. I give it an 8.9 out of 10. It's a long shot. I don't see it happening. I'd love to see him at least interview for it. I think that would be really cool if, like, Sean could get him in a room, talk with him and everything. But I, I don't know. There's a lot of respect between the two. They've become friends from what I heard. But at the same time, Belichick, he wants to do things his own way. So I don't know if he'd be taking orders from Sean McVay. I'm going to say he wouldn't, but if he did, that's an 8.9 out of 10 higher. Pretty damn good. All right. You know, you know how it is. The nines. I mean, Pornoid literally says to go on a plane and fly to wherever that you can get this pizza if it's a nine. Well, when you're talking about these head coaches, or excuse me, these co these defensive coordinator candidates, you are talking about the cream of the crop, and I'm not talking about necessarily that they've already been that and we already know they're that great. 
I'm saying these are the best guys for the Rams, and it is not even worth debating. These are the top five candidates that the Rams can hire, full stop. Number five, Jim Leonard, age 41, Illinois senior football analyst. Uh, Things really blew up for him. He stuck by Wisconsin, decided not to go to the NFL, and unfortunately, Wisconsin did not retain him. He's also a Wisconsin alumni, so things didn't go well there. Um, So that's why he ended up at Illinois as a senior football analyst. But this guy, just his defensive mind is crazy. Um, I think he would offer a new vision for the Rams. I'm going to give him a 9.2 out of 10. I do think it's a little bit of a long shot, even though Sean McVay interviewed him the last time he ended up hiring uh, Brandon Staley. The reason being that I think it's somewhat of a long shot here is because Deion Sanders, the rumor is he is going to bring him to Colorado. And it doesn't sound like the Packers are going to go with Jim Leonard this time around either. So with that said, I think he's just going to opt to stay out of the NFL another year and go with, you know, go with Deion Sanders to Colorado. Um, but if he doesn't 9.2 out of 10 higher, that would be a banger of a hire. I'd be very happy about it. I just think he'd bring a new fresh defensive mind to this team. Um, and I just love the idea of taking this opportunity and really getting a chance to build out your defense. So your philosophies and everything. So uh, Jim Leonard, 9.2, number five, number four, Anthony Weaver, 43 years old. Ravens defensive line coach and assistant head coach. Um, and the Rams just lost their assistant head coach. So Weaver could step right in there as the assistant head coach as well. Likely not because defensive coordinator, that's a lot. You'd probably want a different guy. Like position coach and an assistant head coach is probably better than just having a coordinator and so forth. But Weaver, 43 years old. I mean, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, really like him in this circuit. I gave him a 9.3 out of 10. Um, I mean, first off, McDonald, that influence is huge. Vrabel being around him, being around Rex Ryan. I I like just the different coaches he's been around. I like that he's a part of this defense. Mind you, he's the defense line coach. Justin Matabike had the best year of his career this year. He He was playing unconscious. This was the best run defense in the league. This was the best defense in the league. And a big reason was because of McDonald's defense, which is what Weaver could bring to the table first off. And the second thing is guys like him and a guy I'll bring up in a little bit on what they did for their defensive unit. So I thought he did a great job with the defensive line. Keep in mind, I think Aaron Dolan's going to want a defensive line uh, type of guy, you know, obviously losing, you know, somebody like Eric Henderson and Raheem Morris in the same off season is going to be a little brutal. Anthony Weaver could kind of, uh, he could help in that regard. Moving on here. Well, I gave him a 9.3 out of 10. Moving on, we got the top three. All right, this is, this is kind of crazy. And by the way, I said Zach Orr was 31. He's turning 32. This guy's 32. He's the Broncos defensive back coach. He's went through three different coaching staffs in Denver. He's a rising star. And he has Vic Fangio and a zero Evero influence from working under them. 9.4 out of 10 Christian Parker. I think Parker is going to be a head coach sooner than later. He's definitely going to be a defensive coordinator. If not this time around, it will be next year. Um, I just love the idea that this guy, no matter how bad it got in Denver, never left. And I'm not hating on anybody that did, but it was not great. The whole Hackett thing that went that blew up and he stood by and he stuck it out and he remained with the Broncos. And I think, you know, first off, the defensive backs, I mean, it goes to show you, you know, the job he's done developing them. Parker is legit like he's going to be a head coach. Give it less than three years. I'll, I'll say three years in three years. Christian Parker will be a head coach in the NFL. Um Again, I love the Fangio influence and the Evero influence. I think if the Rams are still trying to run the same type of thing they're doing, um, Christian Parker can do that. I think he could bring in kind of, you know, an extra rejuvenated bit of energy. 32 years old. I mean, keep Sean McVay on his toes. So I don't know if McVay goes this route. But this should be one of the favorites for sure. And he's never been a coordinator before. Like I said, I don't care. The fit is a 9-4 out of 10. Christian Parker. So that means the last two. And I think you figured out the last two by now. Um, Both are former Rams in their own right. Just a little bit different. 
So number two, he's 41. He's the Ravens defensive back coach, Denard Wilson. For those of you who don't know, Denard Wilson joined the Rams with the Jeff Fisher era Rams uh, 2012 on his coaching staff through 2016. He's been the DB coach to the best DB room in the league in back-to-back years this year with the Ravens, last year with the Eagles. Um, you know, he's worked with, you know, Jonathan Gannon. He's worked with Mike McDonald. Um, so I love those two influences in his back pocket. The Rams are interviewing him. He seems like one of the favorites. Like if the Rams decide to go with anybody that doesn't, and I'm probably spoiling the next one. If they decide to go with anybody that doesn't have to get out of their current contract for whatever reason in a similar role, uh, Denard Wilson will probably end up being the Rams out of house option. Uh, Aubrey Pleasant will be hired if they decide to go inside, you know, the organization. They haven't gone in house though. They just have not hired from within. They, you know, they brought in Staley to replace Wade Phillips. Then they brought in Raheem Morris to replace Staley. And that's the thing is that like they, they didn't, they didn't promote Pleasant. They didn't promote any of these guys. So that's the thing. Will they do that? If they do that, Aubrey Pleasant. But if they don't, which history says that they don't, kind of think Denard Wilson could be the Rams' defensive coordinator. And it's kind of, there's an irony here because the irony is that Denard Wilson was kind of let go by the Rams and Sean McVay. Sean McVay chose not to bring him back onto his staff. Uh, and so that is why he left, went to the Jets, had the success he had. Jamal Adams came out, you know, gave him some credit and everything. A lot of, lot of teammates, uh, or rather players, have given Denard Wilson a lot of praise in the past. So keep that in mind. I'm giving it a 9, 7 out of 10. I think it'd be a fantastic hire. Um, but the granddaddy of them all, the number one hire, the guy that I think, and I hate to say this, would be better than Raheem Morris. And that that hurts. I love Raheem. Ajiro Evero, age 43, currently the Carolina Panthers defensive coordinator, was re- with the Rams from the beginning. Then, of course, he left, went to the Broncos as the D coordinator, you know, joined uh, Nathaniel Hackett. Then everything went ablaze. So then he joined Carolina. And what I take away from this, first off, I think he's the favorite. I think Ajiro Evero should be considered the Rams defense coordinator of 2024 if he gets out of this. If he doesn't get out of this, if the Panthers do decide to keep him, they did block a few. But if Canales and the Panthers decide to keep him in Carolina and Evero doesn't say he doesn't fight back against it or whatever, then they'll go in a different route. But I think if the Rams have their choice, they want to bring back Ajiro Evero. Um what the Panthers did this year without really much of an offense and what the Broncos did the year prior without much of an offense. What's the common factor there? It's Evero. It's always been Evero, folks. Evero is one of the best coaches I think that's ever come from McVay's tree, his staff and everything. Like Evero is one of the best. I think Evero might be a top three D coordinator in football. Um, I love Raheem Morris. I think Evero would be kind of like what Staley did in 2020, but it'd be a consistent thing as long as they kept him. However, you also have to be honest with yourselves. If Evero comes to the Rams, it's going to be fun. It's a nice journey. You probably secure two third round picks due to the uh, compensatory uh, program, you know, for minority coaching, but that's it. He's not sticking around forever. So if you're okay with that, if you're looking year to year, Evero is a perfect hire because he's the best one available and you're fine. You know, you know, he's going to go and you get two third round picks out of it. But if you want stability, Evero is not your option. And maybe neither is Denard Wilson, who might be a head coach next year. So if you want stability, maybe it's Christian Parker. Maybe it's Zach Orr. maybe it's going after a younger coach that is a little too young and it scares away some teams that don't want to make just a crazy move. Maybe that's the case. But the fact is, Ajiro Evero is a 10 out of 10. He's the best by far. It's not close. It's the granddaddy of them all. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure Dave Pornoy has never graded a pizza a 10 out of 10 because I think it would ruin the whole scale. But when we're talking about fit, 
My point is there's never been a better fit than Ajiro Evero in LA. Period. He was there for a while. He knows Sean McVay. Uh, it, it is a no freaking brainer if the Panthers let him go. And that is a big if. Because since he's a no freaking brainer, if the Panthers don't let him go and Evero doesn't fight to get out of his contract, then the Rams don't get him. And I think the Rams go out and get Denard Wilson. But that's my thoughts. In conclusion, number one, Evero. Number two, Denard Wilson. Number three, Christian Parker. Number four, Jim Leonard. Number five, Bill Belichick. Unlikely as all hell. Let me just explain that. Number six, Aubrey Pleasant. Number seven, Shane Bowen. Number eight, Anthony Campanile. Uh, or Campanile. Number nine, Zach Orr. Number 10, James Betcher. Number 11, Aiden Durd. Number 12, Derek Ansley. Number 13, Chris Hewitt. 14, Marquand Manuel. Number 15, Bobby Babich. Number 16, Brandon Staley. Number 17, Joe Witt. Number 18, Chris Shula. Number 19, Wink Martindale. Number 20, Mike Vrabel. Number 21, Michael Wilhoyt. Number 22, Robert Livingston. Number 23, Leslie Frazier. Number 24, Al Harris. Number 25, Joe Barry. And number 26, Ron Rivera. Uh, under no circumstances do I want Ron Rivera as defense coordinator. I think it, it, I would actually be really upset if they hired anybody that I gave a 6.3 and a 6.5 to. I'd be upset about Al Harris. I'd be upset about Leslie Frazier. I'd be upset about Robert Livingston. I like him, but I'd be upset about him. Will Hoyt would be interesting. Still would be upset. Would be upset about Vrabel. Uh, I don't want to say upset, but I'd be uh, disappointed. Disappointed in Martindale. I, I think really like Chris Shula would be underwhelming, but I wouldn't hate it. Joe Witt would be a little underwhelming. Brandon Staley, I'd be really annoyed. Uh, Babbage would be solid. I think as long as you get to the eights, if they hire an eight. Okay. But if they hire one of the nine guys, I'm going to be very excited. The bottom line is, the Rams are ready. Like this year should be a Super Bowl season. The goal should be going after the number one seed. Uh, we saw how overpowered that is. I mean, the 49ers didn't really play that well, but they only had to play two games to get to the Super Bowl. That's what it's all about. Rams need to get to that. So best way to do that, hire the best damn defense coordinator available. If that's Evero and he's available, Evero. If it's not Evero, hire Denard Wilson. I don't know. But the Rams had their pick of the litter. There's a lot of great options. We'll see what they do. Let me know in the comments section what you want them to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and follow me at JK Bogan. You guys take care. Later, folks. We start playing Pick'em or Weekly Fantasy for any sport today, Jake. Users will receive a 100% deposit match up to $100 if they use promo code OTE at sign up. Start playing Pick'em and Weekly Fantasy Football today with underdog fantasy do you love talking about the rams the nfl or just want to be a part of a community join my free discord server today we're over 800 members we got 24 7 live chat a level 3 boosted server the ability to call into je live playing online games with us on kick streams toggleable alerts for when i go live on youtube or kick so you don't miss a live stream and exclusive giveaways Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.